Really? So just trying to get that out of here first and then there'll be ongoing stuff to you. I have I could get out of here today. Oh my gosh. All right, so you got 12 in that box and 30 in that box. You okay. got 10 of those. That'll work. So that'll be 42, and how about we just make it 40? 40 already. Does that work for you? That will. I got a set of snap-on uh, box wrenches there. I think I got them more. Those are cheap, aren't they? Those are the cheapest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like the cheapest of all. I mean, yeah. I think, uh, which one's he taking? This one? That one there, yeah. Well, how much are these snap-on uh, box wrenches? Five bucks. I'll take them. Right. And I'll, I'll also take this nice Kennedy box right here. Okay. Actually, if you want, I'll take all that right there. You don't even have to put uh put them out. These two in here. Okay. You want to set that stuff down? Yes, sir. Box? That'd be perfect. Okay. You have one here. That'll work, yes, sir. I think that was, we're up to... Uh, like 40 bucks yeah sound good yeah that works that's good enough for me that'll work i appreciate the good deal thank you sir sk1 good morning How much are you asking for the old Kirby? Uh, 25 bucks. 25 bucks? It's very clean. It's very clean. You wouldn't take 20 on it, would you? Sure. 20? Alrighty. How you doing, sir? Doing pretty good. How are you? Alright. I'm just, I got, oh. Look. 
I knew we shouldn't have bought. Yeah. Do a deal if you want to package the deal. Yeah. What goes with these things or? Uh, um, if you buy one, I'll, I'll give you. If you buy both of them, I'll give you the booze. One dollar. Handbags one dollar. Unless one. Well, this time. Um. If you see something like it says ten, you want to do something. $8, I'll do it. Anything you go for. All right, we are back in the house and check all this good stuff out we got. I'm telling you right now, it was a super good couple yard sales we had on that Saturday. Uh, there's going to be another video also later on that day, but look at these little Tweety Bird things. We'll go over that in a second. First, let's go over the not so great thing, but uh, not bad for 20 bucks. It's the Kirby Turbo right there. Heritage Edition. The hay actually comes off. This can be sold for like 20 bucks. The Kirby, I actually thought it was going to be for more money because it's a little dirty, but I can definitely wash this and just wipe them down. I did sell the, just like a little bit of the rainbow attachments, the rainbow vacuum attach attachments for 55 bucks. This doesn't go as much as that. That only goes, that entire thing only goes for like 20 bucks. And then here, this head right here goes for about 15 to 20 bucks, but this right here also goes for about 20 bucks. So not too bad there. We spent twenty dollars for everything. This right here is there as long as there's no cracks and it goes for about five bucks. Let's see if that O-ring is good in there. Hopefully it is. And even that little hose right here, I think, goes for like five bucks. So I'll definitely be pulling this out and I'll definitely be taking the head off of there. Make sure the motor's good. I'll sell the motor. The bag goes for, and this is actually fairly clean and looks pretty decent. I think the bag alone goes for like 15 or 20 bucks. So definitely gonna part all that stuff out and the stuff I can't part if it's made of metal, we will scrap the metal. Let's move on to this thing. This is one of the nicest Kennedy boxes I've ever actually bought. Kennedy right there, as you can tell, will always have a style number. So the style number here is 1017. If you would type that in, this box will come up. So Kennedy boxes are very easy to comp out and uh, it is in really good condition. These are older boxes and they do have a tendency to rust very easily because of this outside Coating is not the greatest when it comes to Kennedy boxes. And this is also gonna say Kennedy right there. And it does tend to rust very easily. This box, you only want to $15 for, I, all day long for 15 bucks, because it's an easy 100 to $130. I actually think I can probably get 150 for this because I've never seen one this clean. Same yard sale, super good. Uh, I. If you're watching the channel a lot, you know that I love tools. I don't, I haven't picked up a lot in a while because I just haven't seen any. And today we found some good ones. So these snap-ons right here, these are called box wrenches. And I have the whole set. He only wanted five bucks for those, which is absolutely insane. That's the cheapest. If you ever see a snap-on anything for $5 for a set, you always need to buy it. Um, they are etched right there. All of them are etched now. Does that take down on the value? Yeah, kinda. It's probably gonna take it down uh, a, a little bit, but I still think that I'll be able to get probably 75 to $100, no problem, because I do have the whole box set. And it seems like that XV right there is uh, kind of important because I did see one that went for $100 that had only half of the ones that I have. Then always the Craftsman. You know I'm a big Craftsman fan, made the United States stuff, the older stuff. I've never seen that code before, the, the M6, V, but this one right here, easy because it's in super good condition. Uh, easy 20 bucks there. The rest of these are even like I have little snap on things right here. This one's snap on if it focuses, maybe not. Just trust me on that. That says snap on. And then the rest are craftsmen. I usually put these in lots like drunk, drunk, like junk drawer lots if I don't want to sell them individually. They, these I'll sell individually just because they are the V series and they're in super good condition. And uh, each one of these probably five bucks plus shipping. Then the one yard sale that had all this stuff. I did end up getting this basketball game. No idea if it works. It's not brand new. It's still in the container, but not brand new. I think there's only one listed for like 30 bucks. So I really don't know how much that's going to go ahead and uh, cost, but I'm pretty sure probably about 20 to 30 bucks would probably be good. These right here are super good. If you ever see, one just broke a little bit, but the white one's broke, but there are uh, replacements out there. And one does not light. It looks like it's actually damaged. But these are the vintage like plastic owls. 
always be on the lookout for these things. Easy $100 if you get them where they're not messed up. But since I have some issues with these, probably 45 to 50 bucks on those. Then got this little thing. And uh, I got it because it was said made in Italy. I paid, it says three bucks, but I think I only paid a couple bucks for it because it was $40 for everything. And uh, I'm thinking probably 15 to 20 bucks on that one. And then the really cool, I do have more down here. We're just not going to go through all the colors, but um, and I'll, you'll understand that in a second, actually. So we got Tweety. This one's brand new, but has some nasty staining right here, as you can tell right there. Hopefully, Kayla can get that out, but this one is from 1995 and still has the original tag. Awesome craftsman hoodie. If that, I mean, a pullover. If this was my size, I would definitely wear it, but not my size. This one, another Tweety. The tags are cut in them, which is sad, but definitely the uh, it's easy because they are it's easy to say that it's vintage because right there 1993 and then I did get about five or six of these and uh, the lady actually at the yard sale told me she said early on they had a ton of these vintage clothing with tags on and they had sold a whole bunch but this stuff was left behind some of these do have stains but if you ever find this is the jersey and I've sold these before uh, back in the day they went for like five bucks but I'm guessing these are also from the 90s and uh, there's actually some sold comps all the way up to about 40 bucks for just one of those another craftsman and then you got Sylvester again with a cut tag but easy to go ahead and identify because it says right there 1993 so definitely neat when it comes to these i was thinking probably 20 to 25 dollars maybe a little bit more for the one with the tag on it but it is stained but um not too bad i did pay 40 bucks for all that and i know that seemed a little bit high but i was well i was okay paying that just because of how cool uh these are and they're in really good condition as you can tell is there's no cracking on the ink or anything like all this stuff is in super super good condition so i was definitely happy to find that all right the whiteboard is back so we're gonna go ahead and go over it i paid a hundred dollars for all the items you just saw the potential sales on these is going to be 575 dollars now remember a lot has to be taken out of that before you can get your net profit all right so after fees uh, I do 20% fees. Now that's not true. Uh, eBay does not have 20% fees. It's usually between like 11 and 13 or 14, but I always want to do 20% just because it's, I just like to have a little bit more percentage in there in case I promote or something like that. So always 20% fees. So you take that out of there and then that's going to be 460. After that, you need to go ahead and take out what you're your original amount that you spent was, so that was 100. So the net is going to be 360. Now this is gonna be about eight hours total work. That's with cleaning, that's with processing, that's with shipping, because it only took us like an hour to pick that stuff up, not even, because all the places were super close to us. So eight hours of work and that equals 57 $57.50 per hour. Now that deserves a smiley face. So right there, it's everything I bought today to be a full-time eBay reseller, and this is what I do. I basically buy stuff, flip it online, and then make YouTube videos about it. As you can tell behind me, if you've been watching the video for a while, or the, the channel, there's a lot different, right? I had a whole bunch of golf clubs over here, now there's like six fishing rods, but we have a ton of stuff that we've been doing. The last video y'all just saw was the big $7,500 golfing club haul. I didn't have any place to put that when I bought it, so... Kayla and I that day went and got a storage unit. It was, we have now two storage units. I might go ahead and just do a whole video on our new setup because everything's completely different. Like all the stuff I always said is completely different than what it is now. So definitely some really good new workspaces. I'm a lot more organized, still not where I wanna be, but not too bad. It's a work in progress when it comes to organization, but it has literally taken me two to three days to get this done. So I do appreciate everybody that watches and you know I will always get you on the next one.